All right, the Combatter Swords are back for UFC Moscow. We're going to be going over Klitsin Abreu versus Gamzatov, or Shamil Gamzatov, I should say. Uh, pretty controversial decision here, um, but I don't recall which rounds specifically I would give to Abreu and which rounds I would give to Gamzatov. So we're going to go over all 15 minutes here. Tony didn't really spend too much time. No, I just missed this fight this completely. Fight. Like I literally just saw the decision. <laughs> so, so he's going to be watching it for the first yeah. time. So it should be a little bit of a, a good way to to see where he comes with uh, with his perspective here. But in terms of the way the judges scored it, we had Lucas Bosaki scored 29-28 for Abreu with him winning the first two rounds. Howard Hughes had it 29-28 for Gam- Gamzatov uh, with him uh, Gamzatov winning rounds one and three. And then Paul Sutherland, had it 29-28 where Abreu won, uh, or sorry, Abreu only won the second round and uh, uh, Gabzatov was awarded rounds one and three. So it seems like, like if you go round by round with the judges, all three agreed that Abreu won round two, all three agreed that um, Gabzatov won three and they were split on round one. That first one. So let's see if how this entire fight could have been scored uh, because yeah I'm not going to say anything until we watch it again just due to the fact that I feel like I really need to watch it again before I can have a a decent opinion on it just watch it yeah (laughs) All right, let's get this going do you know any of these guys? yeah Klitsen Abreu I know that he has a win over Johnny Walker oh yeah shit they fought on the regional scene I swear he tapped him out or choked him out or something like that He did lose to an uncle live in his last fight. Who, Klitson? Uh, yeah. Gavin's top making his UFC debut uh, where he was in the PFL before hmm. he beat guys like Eddie Gordon and Rodney Wallace. If you're in the PFL, just stay in the PFL yeah. and make your money. I know. Even if you're like, oh, I'm UFC level, good. Be UFC level and beat those other guys yeah. then for lots of money. Yeah. Like if Even I'm, lower-ish level guys yeah. too. Yeah. If I was in the UFC, I'd be like, wait, what the fuck? I could beat like some guys like Vinny Magalhaes and win a million dollars for <laughs> yeah. doing it. Yeah. Why am I fighting these bees for 20K? Yeah. I'd be interested to see what type of uh, contract he has here. Mm-hmm. All right. Not much is happening. Leg kicks back and forth. Yeah, pretty uneventful so far. I guess Abreu based off octagon control. Yeah. <laughs> like, they both pretty really... much land the same amount of uh, yeah. leg kicks. 70 seconds in. Another leg kick by Abreu. <laughs> okay. Another. Abreu is one of those guys who's on like the regional scene that mm-hmm. would fight a lot in Russia Bunch. and beat all those guys. Okay, that's why he was he was saying going in, he's like, Yeah, I'm gonna I'll I'll like I'll t- I'll beat him or tap him out like I do all all Russian guys. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, oh, this guy is talking shit about Russian. <laughs> <laughs> and for good reason. He's okay, fought over here a couple sense. times. Oh, that looked nice like it flying knee. It's might have a bit. Kind of clipped him. Yeah. I think it was more Gazm Gamzatov like lifting his head up to avoid it. That could have been it. Still nothing that clean. Like, yeah. They're kind of throwing shots. Nobody's really asserted themselves enough to take this round. Yeah, like we're at almost halfway through yeah. it. I okay, that was probably the best shot right there by Gamzatov. That body kick. body kick. That was probably the best. Okay, left hook. But then Abreu lands two shots. He loves that like oblique kick. I mean, halfway through the round, it's kind of a gimme. I think maybe Gamzatov is like he's one strike ahead to now. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a slight hair above. Okay, decent head kick from Abreu. Yeah, both kind of missed with their head kicks though. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice little landed a he good landed. left, and then a decent head kick it was kind yeah. of blocked, but he he landed the strikes there. Gamzatov yeah. missed. Yeah. And Abreu whiffs. They're just missing a lot. Yeah. That was a decent front kick by Gamzatov. Throws on a nice little body kick by Abreu. Body punch, then a followed by a body kick by Abreu. So they just equally landed there. <laughs> they just keep canceling each other out. Yeah. That was a decent leg kick there. Oh, oh that was a good right yeah. by Abreu. Yeah. That was decent. I think he missed the punch and then landed the little thigh kick, though. Oh, nice left. Oh, nice right. Nice flurry by Abreu. He's got the advantage here. 30 seconds left. Another little front kick by Gamzatov. So it seems like Abreu is the one leading the dance the entire like for the, yeah. the majority of the show. I think Gamstop might be winning on volume just because of these tiny little teeths and little thigh kicks, but they're very insignificant. Man. Even that, you just threw that out there. I I think I think Abreu wins that round based off significant I gotta, strikes. I gotta go with Abreu. <clears throat> significant I he had strikes. The flurries, yeah. Gamzatov had a little bit of volume, like you were saying. Yeah, I, yeah. I agree with that aspect, but it's not 
you he know, landed better. He, he definitely landed Abreu better. Landed better and he was the one pushing forward the entire time. I thought too. that was kind of clear. So if damage, cage control, you know, better you got to yeah. you got to go towards cage control I, more here, and I, effectiveness. I got to say Abreu. Like I thought that was super close up until like the last 30, 40 seconds. Abreu then had like two good rushes and and in though each of those landed like two good shots. I'm like I thought it was clear that he stole it there. Yeah. So yeah, hundred percent. I go with the Brady. Yeah, it was pretty even up until that like forty and, second ish mark. And no. this round was the one where two judges gave it to Gamzatov and one gave it to Abreu. So the, maybe they're looking at the fact that he was throwing a little bit more. Yeah, I don't. I want to after this fight. Little, I don't I'll, know. I'll, I'll though, confirm man. the numbers too. Based we'll, on, like, we'll check that it out. felt like it was dead even until the last thirty seconds, and then it was clearly swayed in Abreu's yeah. favor. So I don't like that's a hard round to score for Gamzatov, in my opinion, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, round one. Clipson. I'd say round one, Clipson, yeah. I like it. Now, these two rounds, the judges unanimously agreed on, so they might be a little easier to score. Mm -hmm. Let's see, though. Let's it see if... Like we're clinching. Oh, oh, then he got the takedown. Abreu just got the takedown. Now he's in half guard. It was weird that he didn't go for the takedown even in yeah. the first round. Because in a he's past fights that you see of Gamzatov, he, like... Gamzatov got taken down pretty often by Rodney Wallace and won that fight by split decision. Okay. Got a gift there. Just as he, in my opinion, got a gift tonight. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, he's actually he's eating nothing major, but he's he's eating some elbows. Just based off of the guard. inactivity of the rest of that round, though, I think it was clear. Was, I thought was, Abreu was winning yeah. the round up until this takedown. Yeah. This just sealed it. He's now Gamzat was back up to his feet with ten seconds left, but he ate a couple of shots. Didn't do any damage from the bottom there. See, this is an example of a round. Oh, there you go. nice shot from Abreu. Yeah, that's an easy this Abreu round. 10 9 Abreu. Yeah, no 100%. But the, this is an instance where a takedown where you don't land much from on top still has significance in the round yeah. based off the fact that the rest of the round was pretty like a wash. Yes, and the fact that the guy didn't do anything for the bottom either. Like yeah. if you get a takedown right away, but then you're doing what Calvin Cater did to Zabit, yeah. you're winning Perfect from the example. bottom. You're Perfect winning. example. Or yeah. you're doing what Paul Felder did to Barbosa. Yep. You're winning that exchange. Yeah. Like, you know what's funny about that Barbosa-Felder fight? That was one fight in which the guy got a takedown to seal the round and in turn lost the round because he got the takedown. Because he was oh, yeah. winning probably the stand-up. Yeah, yeah. And then when he got the takedown, he got hit with those elbows. And those ended Cut up being probably the most significant yeah. shots of the round that swayed the round for Felder. So yeah. it's like... He he did what you're supposed to do to kind of seal around or, or or sway it and get the takedown, but he lost the whole exchange and ended up losing the round because of it. It's like a total opposite. I wish effect. guys would like adapt that more, even put that into their training. Like train full ground, full guard strikes. Yeah, train to get up. Train as to well, get out of bottom. But, so, yo, yeah, yeah. Like look at uh, Bisming against GSP. He would just he was winning from the bottom with these crazy elbows, and then as soon as he wanted to get up, he would just buck up and get up. Like yeah. he had both skills on lock. Yeah. In terms of you can't hold me down, but also I why do I want to get up right away? Maybe I could fuck you up a bit from here. Yep. And the Bisman did great T at that. T Ferg is like, amazing at that. Yeah. That's, that's why I can't that's wait for him against Khabib. Khabib. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but April, man, we're talking about six months, dude. Yeah. All right, this round again, a little even. The, the, everything the whole fight's pretty even <laughs> up until like certain flurries or exchanges. And this is a night where not a lot of Russians won. I think Ankalaev was the first Russian to win, with the exception of Kabilov and mm -hmm. Kandoshko, because both those guys were Russian. Yeah, they have, these guys let them. But go. in terms of judging, the judges were on tonight. They were. They were, they were on tonight. They didn't. They were good. Yeah, right. they didn't have any, any uh, well, like hometown except robberies this except this one. Apparently, I think Abreu like a couple of seconds ago just landed a good left. So. Mm -hmm. Such a like demoralizing loss when you feel like you really won. Yeah, and, and like you traveled so far to, to to get this fight, and you leave with half your paycheck because of that yep. bullshit. Yep. Oh, decent. They right should just score. Just they should just top. score fights based off like a popular vote. Yeah. Like, why isn't they should score fights based off what MMA decisions collects? Like that's well, there's, better. There's that's that, better than the judges. There's, there's that verdict app that my friend has as well. That the MMA history today guys. Yeah, whatever. Which get, is great. Get like qualified journalists and a bunch of these guys just score their fights and tally yeah. it all up, and that's qualified the official yeah. score. Qualified journalists makes up make up the rankings. Let's just oh, yeah. start. Well, that okay. Well, then they they well they gotta <laughs> get that system better in terms of yeah. who they're choosing. Then. Yeah, they should. Well. Yeah, because some of those it's, it's tough like to even do like a fan global scoring because then we'll get like no, a no, situation that's too much. That's like because it's, it's just it, going to be popularity. It's going to be a popular vote. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, you have to have. Yeah. Okay, there's a minute and fifty left in this round. 
I think Gamzatov is probably edging it, but it's just still pace. fairly close. Yeah, not pace. Sorry, yeah, pressure, cage control. He's the one yeah, moving forward pretty a much this whole round. His bike circling, but that was a good front yeah. kick to the body. Gamzatov, yeah, he looks like he's trying to pressure him more. No. Is this starting to even out again? Kind of. Yeah, he's landing some shots. Some knees. Yeah, he's landing some decent knees. Gamzatov's also landing, like these little peppering shots. Gamzatov's really the one pushing it this oh, round. Brady goes for a takedown, stuffed. I think if he landed that takedown, he probably would have stolen this round. Gamzatov was working good hard for a defense. takedown as a Brady against the cage, but Gamzatov's stuffing it. 10 seconds left. Oh. Oh, that's these are nice elbows. Close to the spine, though. <laughs> I, I would say Gamzatov edged this yeah. because even in the stalled positions, he was doing something and yeah. trying to pepper. 10-9 um, so I, I, I think he edged that round, yeah. Because yeah. Abreu did seem to be slowing down a bit. It like was a he, close round. Yeah, like if he got that takedown and maybe landed some blows and stuff, he probably could have stolen it. But it was more of like stalling and being defended and then getting hit as well. So I'd say Gamzatov. I think they were bang on in terms of round two and round three. Round two and three, yeah. But round one, um, uh, yeah, man, I think Abreu. So let's check oh, out yeah. the scores. Media scores, mostly Abreu. Two, four, five for media uh, for Gamzatov. And then we got a 30-27 yeah. for Abreu. Look at the fans scoring. Yeah. 81% almost scored the first round for Klitz and Abreu. Wow. 81% Aye. Abreu. 91%, 91 round, two round two for Abreu, Abreu and 75 for Gamzatov 75 round, three. round three. So it's pretty I think fucking, it's pretty clear cut. It, I don't, yeah. it doesn't seem like it really should have been a split. 66.7, 29, yeah, 20 for Abreu. It really didn't seem like it should have been much of a split. Felt like it was a close fight throughout, except like outside of a few yeah. flurries. But round one and two were clearly Abreu. It was almost like a Derek Lewis fight where it's like, there's not much going on yeah. in that first and round. And there's some and then, flurries, yeah, like 10 seconds. Minute. Yeah, something like that. Will be the most significant part of a five-minute round, yeah. So what's the final score you got for this? Yeah, definitely 100%. Rounds one and two, Clits and Abreu, round three, Gam stuff, so 29-28. I'm in the same fucking boat. Yeah. How I those those media guys even got it at twenty nine twenty eight for Gamzatov is yeah. is beyond me. Like that first round was kind of close. Yeah, I get it, but I think that Abreu you still put it on him a, a little bit more and was more than deserving and for that first. You know round. what's funny? I always see this too. Whenever media scores like have the score for like the wrong dude, it's always fucking like the same this, sites. <laughs> this 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 wrestling observer Ryan Frederick dude who doesn't seem to know how to score a fight <laughs> and Sherdog dudes. Yeah. Sherdog guys always have the shittiest, stupidest scores. Oh, they, I don't know what it I is. I hate to shit so on the my fact dude, that Mike those Sloan ones scored it for Gamzatov, yeah. that already makes me lean towards a break. <laughs> like, oh, these idiots clearly don't know how to score a fight. And then, yeah, when you get the the like the better sites all scoring it for a break, you, yeah, <sighs> that's kind of clear cut. Well, pretty, we're, we're actually, we got a unanimous decision here today. For, yeah. For uh, <laughs> Clits and Abreu, I think it was last week. No, last week was. Uh, no, the only one we didn't, uh, we, we weren't. We weren't in agreement on was uh, Stevie, Stevie Ray, Ray and Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson. I had a draw. You had it for Stevie Ray. Yeah, I think this is the third one, right? Yeah, well, last week we had it a draw as well. No, 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 we agreed. Sorry. Yeah, we agreed. Uh, what was it? Yeah, Lewis Derek won twenty nine twenty eight. Blagoy. Yeah. yeah. So that's two, two and one. Where we're unanimous now. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, you guys have been killing it with the reception for the show. We appreciate it. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this like as well. I like doing this too. Yeah. yeah, this one's this one's fun to do. Just it's always it's, been fun for me about yeah. like when it comes out of like controversies with decisions. Like yeah. what the fuck? How? Like it, I, it's it, always fun. to It talk provokes about the most amount of conversation after a card as well. So I think that capitalizing on this is probably yeah. like a no brainer for us. Today. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Um. So yeah, check out the rest of the episodes as well if you guys want to. Derek Lewis versus Blood Goy even off from last week, and we had Michael Johnson and Stevie Ray the week before that. Um. And we'll, we'll see what comes up next week. We will have some sort There's of controversy the, next week. <laughs> fucking UFC Sao Paulo. Is there going to be some more home cooking? Oh, UFC Sao Paulo guys? in Brazil? Oh, yeah. oh, now watch, bro. 13 <laughs> Might finishes. Might have to do like three episodes nah. next week or something. There's going to be like fucking 13 <laughs> finishes probably. <you> know? <laughs> uh, thanks for checking out the episode. Again, MMALOTN on Twitter for me. Add Tunes on Twitter for him. Uh, and subscribe to the YouTube, YouTube channel. Hit us with a like. And if you guys disagree with our scoring as well, Hit us in the comments and let us know why. I'm more than open to hear exactly why you would have scored that round for Gamzatov. But 80.6% of people believe it should have been 10-9 Abreu. And for some reason, had it 2.8% of people had 10-7 Abreu, which is so stupid. Probably some trollers out there. There's but always going to be trollers. There's going to be yeah. some stupidity. People just, doing, um, just fucking it up for no reason, yeah. screwing the numbers up. Check out the Combatter Stories episode that we got dropping on Monday. Uh, and we'll be back next week. Yes. See you guys then. Later.